Hello, my lovely chows of the internet. It is I, Multi126789, and welcome back to another Rune Factory 3 Special Edition Tips and Tricks. So today, you may be wondering, what are we going to talk about today, Multi? Because there's plenty of stuff to talk about in this game. One of the aspects of Rune Factory 3 that I'm still trying to get used to, and that you probably are trying to get used to as well, if you played number four and number five before coming back to number three, is the storage system. Thank you. So, I'm not gonna cap. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I'm not gonna do any of that. <laughs> I'm just gonna tell you how it is, okay? Room Factory 3's storage system is kind of archaic. <laughs> Basically, as you're seeing on screen, I'm showing you the list of storage spots that you can have in your backpack and also in your storage trunk and along with your fridge. Now, basically, all I want to tell you guys is that because of the way that this game was originally made, stacking certain items or putting certain items away does not work the same way as 4 and 5. For example, you cannot put anything that is flowers or herbs or anything that would be considered medical in the storage bin in this game for some reason because I guess they had it back in the day where it's like oh it's a plant so it needs to be refrigerated to be kept good rather than you know just for the fact that it's for medicine you can be put in either a container into a storage unit rather than a fridge which brings me to my second thing uh things in this game have levels so in room factory four and five all items have a level rating it shows here at the bottom right hand of the screen when it shows the information and it shows the level. Now in this game, for certain items, such as dishes and fish, that means also your storage is going to take be taken up by everything that has an individual level. So if everything that you have in your storage or in your possession right now has a different individual level, it will take up one slot of space for itself and anything with the same level. This is very integral because if you're trying to save space or trying to be able to hold a lot of items of one type, you always want to go with things that can go up to stack 9 in this game. So if you don't have things that are all of the same level, and you really don't need to hold on to them, you should either sell them or you should give them to whoever you were going to give them to as a gift in town. Because in this game, it takes a while for before you get actually more space. Uh, I recently just got more fr fridge space in the game, so now I'm able to use more room for food items and individual things like fish like i said don't stack same with any sort of thing that you cook and they are not the same level they do they will not stack so it's very important early on to get your fridge up so you can put your plants your herbs every basically everything that you're going to use for when you're going out into dungeons inside there but it's very crucial to note that as of right now, I don't know if you get a backpack upgrade. I know you can't upgrade the actual trunk itself to store more random goods from enemy drops. But if you're not going to use it right away, then feel free to sell it. Because in this game of games, they do not want you to hoard as much until you get to the end of the game where you're going to need a lot of resources. But yeah, that's going to be basically it for this Tips and Tricks video for Rune Factory 3. I know that this one is basically the shortest one you'll probably see by a, long, by a country mile. But it's very important to talk about storage because in this game it works a lot differently than it did in any other Rune Factory game. So I'm glad that I was able to tell you guys and give you a little bit of help or advice if you wanted to use it. Uh... But yeah, that's going to be everything for me. I have been Multi12679, other known as multi -man. Hope you lovely child of the internet have a good day. Like, comment, and subscribe for more of these tips and tricks videos. And I'll catch you lovely child of the internet next time. So ciao, ciao. Until then.